If you want to support the channel then please check out my Patreon page to gain access to exclusive videos, take part in Q&As and watch my retrospectives before they go live on YouTube. Hello everyone, it's Oliver Harper here back with a new unboxing and review of these new NECA 7 inch Ninja Turtles figures. Now these are based on the 1990 movie which uh, if some of you have been watching my channel for a long time would know it's the first film I saw at the cinema as a kid in late November of that year with my dad. Now, as most kids of the late 80s and early 90s, most of us were obsessed with the Ninja Turtles, as was I. Uh, I had all the Turtles toys and the, uh, the blimp and the turtle van and so forth, but I always wanted figures based on the movies. Now, there were figures based on the movies from Ninja Turtles 2 and 3, um, which I never saw in the shops, apart from ones for Ninja Turtles 3, which is the one where they go back in time, and it's not a very good movie. Uh, the sequel, uh, Secret of the Ooze, which has the, you know, the irritating Vanilla Ice song, um, had uh, some figures based on the films. Now, I saw the suit, there's like a Super Shredder kind of uh, figure that came out at the time, and I, I saw that, but I never saw the ones based on the Turtles themselves. Um, maybe down to maybe certain stores sold them like Toys R Us, but the ones in Cambridge, I never saw the movie-based figures. Uh, so I was always kind of a bit peeved that there was never ones based on the first film. And it wasn't until a couple of years ago that NECA did release, or get, the, or get the license, I suppose, to produce these figures, which were originally 14-inch, the ginormous ones. Um, which I was kind of mm, umming and ahhing about getting, but they're just too big, you know, they take up too much space. Um, so when they released the, you know, the half the size, you know, the seven inch ones, I was like, right, I've got to get it. Because um, just for completion sake, I think really, and as a kid, you know, I was, you know, I loved the Superman films. I had, I got the Masters of the Universe movie figures, which you may have saw, I did a video on that a couple of weeks back. Um, and I did, I, maybe I said in the video, I, I don't remember, I should have checked before recording this, but I had suggested that I may get these, and also, of course I did. Because um, during the lockdown, um, I, you know, I'd done a few odd trips here and there, and I went down to the beach and I found this movie store, um, and they had these, a full set. Now these are priced at roughly £30 each. Um, frankly, they're not out of stock, they're quite easy to get hold of. Uh, if you want to buy like a full set, there is like re you know reductions in price, so you can probably get a full set for like under, a, or maybe probably, probably just over a hundred pounds. I did get one extra figure to complete, not to complete the set, but to add further to it, which is Shredder, um, which is of course you know another movie figure. He has his cape and so forth. Um, now Shredder action figures as a kid weren't particularly good. The, you know the classic Shredder that came out. Back in the late 80s with the, with the set, or maybe in 80, maybe 85, I can't remember when they actually released the toys. Because um, they came out in America before the UK. The one where Shredder's kind of weird fixed pose. Never liked that, he never stood up properly. Um, then there was a Super Shredder, which I did get, which I mentioned earlier. Uh, I remember seeing and then managed to get hold of it. Um, but yeah, so getting hold of the movie Shredder was, you know, I had to sort of, well, I'll get, the, I'll get those and I'll be done. Because there are other figures in this line. There's Foot Soldiers, there's a Splinter, and then there's a double set which has Casey Jones and Raphael when he's wearing that sort of coat when he goes out on the streets to go see a movie and everyone just seems to ignore him because he's wearing a coat. I may, I'm not sure if I'll get that, but Casey Jones is a very cool character and he's, he seems to be only sold in that pack, which is a bit annoying. It's a bit like, I suppose, the frustrations with like Star Wars collectors. They want that one figure, but it only comes with this vehicle, you know. Um, but yeah, so let's kind of unbox these and uh, see what we get with them. I believe most of the turtles, uh, they all just come with, just, you get a change of hands, um, you get a bit of pizza, and you get their sort of bandana that goes around them. Um, you can, that's like an adjustable one, you can change for something else. It's like a different pose of the bandana, essentially, the back end of it. I did go in beforehand, opened all the boxes, because of all the action figures, you know, you always have like a bit of plastic tied around their waist. It's an absolute nightmare to get them off. I've just taken Donatello out, and the, the turtles themselves are actually quite heavy. Um, they don't feel cheap and very lightweight. They, they sort of, the, the whole shell piece, you know, the scented bit, it's, um, yeah, surprisingly heavy. So um, yeah, it sort of, I suppose, would help with their balance. Um, 
yeah, it's a good size as well. God, I'd be, oh, I would have been so, so happy to have had these as a kid, you know. I mean, these are, I say, 30 pounds each, you know, roughly. So, you know, an adult, you know, a kid, sorry, um, you know, wouldn't have the pocket money to go, you know, buy a full set. No way. Uh, th now, these are probably will be the last of the things I'll be buying for my glass cabinet. I'll show at the end what I've got in it. Um, Maybe one more thing I'll buy. <laughs> well, I, I did go out, I went out to town today and I, and I saw a Predator 2 mecha figure. I was like, I'll have that as well. <laughs> so that is, I thought that'd be it. So yeah, I'll get that. And then there's one more figure I'll buy it. And it's like, I think it's Sideshow Collectibles, which are you know often pretty pricey. They do have another Christopher Reeve figure coming out and it's apparently, can be about six hundred dollars, which is a lot, of, a lot of money. So I don't know. That may be the last thing I buy because it does look very good, um, and it does look pretty big as well. So Michelangelo, as we can see here, um, in the sequels he has little um, to hold his nunchucks in, uh, little cases on his side. But I think in the film, doesn't he? I think he just tight. They just go in the back. But I don't think. Well, they do actually. Does that kind of stick out? As you can see, they just put them in the back like that. It's really cool, I like that. That's good attention to detail, actually. But yeah, Michelangelo looks great. Playing a silly face. That's look really cool. And that's, does, he's, does he's kind of stand up? He stands up really well already. So does he. Wow. Usually with, <laughs> usually with these kind of figures, you've got to spend ages just kind of adjusting the leg, the sort of torso bit. Stood up straight away. That's good. By the time the third movie came out, kids in the UK, especially, had kind of lost interest in Turtles. Some of my friends went to see the third movie. I, I saw it, like, a, my friend came home with his bootleg tape of it. The quality wasn't, the quality wasn't actually that bad, actually. Um, but I think kids as I, had grown up um, and weren't interested in Turtles anymore and moved on to video games. And if kids were still playing with toys, hadn't made the jump to video games. They're, I think, because Thunderbirds was a big craze in the UK, you know, 60s TV show had come back into popularity along, along with that was Stingray. You know, the obsession with kids trying to make the Thunderbird base on Blue Peter. It's crazy, you know. Turtles had kind of lost its appeal. I mean, they had, there were more series of Turtles. I did watch some of them. Um, they actually were pretty good. But I weren't really fussed about them anymore. But I still, you know, I'd always like the Turtles, you know. They're, you know, they're always kind of likeable. But I never really had a huge, like, because like, the turtles have been changed so many times over the years with like new movies and new cartoons and they've changed the way they look. I've never been annoyed by it because I've never been that so sentimental towards it. But I, you know, they're still part of my childhood. I think that's quite cool when Leo's got these swords in the back like that. Um, isn't it? I think he needs to be holding them. Is he going to stand up all right? He stands up perfectly. Wow. He's a great. These won't fall over in my cabinet. Yeah, I didn't like the last Turtles film, that like the had Krang in it and Bebop and Rocksteady. Some of my friends thought it was really good, and I was like, what are you on? It's, it's just such it's poor writing, it was so, it was so rushed as well. Um, you know, the first one beforehand, you know, the Michael Bay produced one, um, I just thought that was thunderously dull. Really boring fight scenes in it as well, I just like, didn't interest me. The turtles look ghoulish and ginormous and freakish, you know. But I suppose they, I mean, the weird thing is, I did say in my, I think my review of the of this film, I did mention this, you know, sort of remakes and sequels, that the one thing they do get right about these films, and over the years when they've done new cartoons and stuff, they always, they, they always get the turtles' personalities right. That's when they've kind of nailed it, really. Yeah, I like it when they're, he's holding his, uh, there you go, his sides are in his, in his side like that. That's cool. That's really cool. As you can see from the detail up close, they're extremely detailed. Um, you know, the likeness is perfect, to be honest. I mean, the, art, the articulation's brilliant as well. They don't, they don't feel cheap. You know, they don't feel flimsy and like they're gonna break, you know, if you just put it in a weird position. They do feel extremely solid. Um, you know, I'm no, I'm no expert on, you know, action figures and so forth, but, you know, I have, you know, seen kind of modern figures today and just like have really bad joints in them, cheap ones, you just put them in a weird position, they snap, hands, you know, the thumbs break, 
you know, so it, these are just like spot on. You know, I don't have a fault with those. Let's have a look at Shredder and uh, see the quality of him, because he does come with a cape, which makes it even cooler. So with Shredder, you get a set of hands, his staff, um, and you get a dagger, which he kind of throws at the TV at the beginning of the film, where he sees April. He's like, sight, sir. There we have his lovely cape, which, um, oh, wow. It's very, um, very close there. You can sort of basically clips together there. That's a very snazzy cape. It's like a disco cape. As you can see, Shredder doesn't quite have the balance of the turtles because of the shells, so he's a little bit more finicky to sort of get him in position. And I think his cape, he does look a bit ridiculous, doesn't he, with the cape. I think I'll probably put the um, staff in his hands. Well, I put them in the glass cabinet, I think. So then kind of put them in a better fixed position. So it looks a bit better from that angle. But Shredder does look very detailed. Um, it, it does look quite cool in number two. He's got a blue outfit. Uh, I suppose it's kind of slightly more in line to the car that's sort of the colours used in the cartoon. Um, because in the you know in the cartoon you never had like this kind of purplish outfit. That's sort of slightly sparkly. Um, oh he's oh look at that. His mask thing comes off. Wait a minute, they come off. Oh wow. Okay, right. His mask comes off like in the film. You see the scar on his face, which is pretty sweet. I like that. Wow, that is really cool. If you're a fan of the 1990 movie, I mean, if you've got the money to spend, as I mentioned earlier, they're about £30 each. Um, in dollars, I'm not sure what the currency exchange would be, but if you buy all four turtles, you get a discount. I mean, you can't just buy one turtle. You've got to have all of them, you know. Um, you know, for 30 years, it kind of took, you know, took, took us to get to this point to actually have figures based on those movie versions by, you know, Jim Henson Creature Shop. That movie's always sort of been neglected, I think, over the years. I mean, there's been, recently, during lockdown, there was a watch party with um, the stars from the film. Um, you know, people did the, the stunt, stunt men and the composer was there and director Steve Barron. Even though it was kind of a weird watch party, um, it wasn't really full of like trivia and production info. It was kind of just, you know, doing lines from the film, just going through the script, which I, which I thought was a little bit mm, waste of, wasted opportunity, I thought. Um, I mean, there has been sort of documentaries about the turtles um, as a whole, sort of the whole franchise, and the movie was covered quite extensively in that um, Turtle Power one that was done a few years back. I think it's called Turtle Power. But yeah, it's, a, uh, it's changed hands at ownership. You know, Warner Brothers, and there's Nickelodeon, and there's New Line. Um, so there's never been a proper special edition kind of Blu ray either, or retrospective on this kind of whole, this whole the movie's production. Well, maybe, maybe something will happen. You know, we just got the, you know, the soundtracks came out recently. John Dupree's score to, the, to this movie. I think two and three are coming out as well at some point. But the score was brilliant, and that sold out pretty quickly. Actually, I did manage to get hold of, get hold of it on CD and LP. Um, but going back to these, um, yeah, he's a he's a really cool. Um, I'm very happy I got him. But yeah, if you love turtles, get hold of them. They're really really cool, and they're easy to get hold of. Things like Shredder, weirdly. Um, I went looking for Shredder, I went on eBay, and people were charging 60 to 70 pounds just for him. So I went on biddenplanet.com, just over 30 quid. So what, I don't know why people are thinking they, charge, they can charge double on eBay when it's still in stock. Um, it's not out of stock. Um, I presume some of the more sort of companies like Splinter and maybe the Casey Jones set would go out of stock quicker. Um, but there's you know a big production run on the turtles themselves, so they're easy to get hold of. Um, but yeah, well, as you can see here, this is the sort of glass cabinet I got um, recently. Um, at the bottom there, we've got Chris Reeve, Hot Toys figure uh, with a Batman, Keaton version and Robocop. They're, they're like the 14 inch ones or 12 inch, I can't remember the size. But the turtles would have been in that size if I got those, you know, a couple of years ago, but they're just, yeah, it's just too big really, so. Um, I need to give these guys a bit of a dust and a bit of a move around. And here we got the uh, new Predator 2 I bought um, today, which is pretty sweet. It's got loads of accessories, which I just left in a box, like, you know, the, 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 the disc he throws and uh, a shorter version of the spear and the, uh, the net he fires. 
Um, got a rubber, got a Terminator there. And my friend Amir got me years ago. Um, some two little figures there. And a patron of mine, very kind of him to send. Alien 2, uh, statue at the back there. And we've got the He-Man ones there. Uh, the video I did the other week or two, no, I think last month. And at the top there, we've got the tails. Um, I need to put them into a, a better pose. Uh, let's put them in there for now. Well, everyone, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I'm not sure if I'll be doing any more unboxing of action figures in future. I don't, there's no more I really need to buy. Um, but as I suggested earlier, I may get that sort of new Chris Reeve figure that's coming out at some point. But, you know, that's, that's what the price is like, you know. Okay, everyone, take care and goodbye.